Danny Flexen here, four seconds out with London mayoral candidate and long-time youth worker, of course, Sean Bailey. Sean, how are you doing? I'm fine, fine, absolutely. We're here for the launch, of course, of Gloves Up, Knives Down, um, a charitable effort that uses boxing as you know, a social enterprise to try and steer kids away from gang life, knife crime, which is obviously a huge epidemic in London at the moment. You talked in your speech about your own experiences in boxing. They haven't always been great from what you told us, but how, how did you first kind of get involved in, in boxing itself? So my experiences in boxing have been great. What I said was I wasn't a great boxer. <laughs> um, there's a lot of skill involved. I mean, for me, it was just pure youth work, isn't it? And boxing has the real cachet of looking great. You know, if you said to someone, I'm a professional boxer, I'm an amateur boxer, they go, really? And for young boys in particular, that's a really good place to start a conversation about their behaviour, about coming in and getting involved with the club. And that's how I got involved. I, where I used to live in Labrick Grove, there's a club called Mr. AK. He's a, he's a trainer. He's been there for years and years and years. All stars. All stars, exactly. And he you know he was a force for youth work across the place I don't think there's any kid who lives in sort of 20 mile radius of that place who hasn't been there and that was my first sort of contact with boxing and you talked about kind of the cachet of boxing do you think we've kind of lost that a little bit in the last kind of 10-15 years people are becoming more attracted to drug dealing or gang life and that's been kind of glamorized a little bit on tv and things like that I think it has. I think boxing has quietly been going on in the background. If you go back 30, 50 years, boxing was a big thing in, in working class communities in particular. I think it's boxing's time to come back to that. I think people like AJ are helping the profile of boxing. But I think actually the power in boxing has always been its social effect. How many boys do you know that did a little bit of boxing and then went on and get a normal job? The point is it keeps our young people safe. It keeps their head in the right line. I've never met someone who runs a boxing club who isn't a good fella. And it's about giving that back to your community what it is to be a good, grown-up, strong man or woman. Given your background and your prominence currently with the mayoral election only a few months away, I'm sure you get loads and loads of charities and causes wanting your time. What, was this, what about this one in particular was you know, attractive to you? I think what attracted me to Gloves Up, Knives Down is because A, they're working in partnership. So they're saying to other boxing clubs, come and work with us, they're not trying to take over your space, they're just trying to give you some kits so you can get on with it. I think that's great. I think the way they're saying to corporate... I, um, corporate to get involved so if your corporate is based in West London or East London you can support the young people in your area I think that's always an attractive offer and the most big thing I think boxing has a real community effect boxing clubs are always owned by the community they're often named for their community and I think we can get in places where other bits of work might not succeed and something I wanted to ask you about as well, Repton's obviously a club steeped in history, which is where we are today. Another London club, maybe a rival of Repton, you'd say, is Earlsfield. Head coach there is Sid Khan, who just happens to be the brother of Sadiq Khan. So you said you weren't a great boxer, but if it came down to it, you and Sadiq Khan, three twos in the ring behind us, would you fancy your chances? I'm a couple of weight categories above him. I've got a much longer reach. So I said, yeah, I think, I think it'll go my way. <laughs> Maybe on the eve of the election, we can try and organise something for Jerry, eh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, th this isn't about me or Sadiq Khan. For me, it's about the people of London. And I'm focused on one thing in particular first, make London safe. If we cannot make London safe, it doesn't matter who you are, you, you're not comfortable. So I want to make London safe, and then after that, I want to do stuff about housing as well. You know, many young people growing up, a lot of their poor behaviour is, is focused actually around the fact that they've come from a very poor housing situation, and I want to change that as well. Brilliant. Well, we wish you the very best of luck for that in May, and also with the success of Gloves Up, Knives Down.